Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my channel A Work in Progress and welcome to my weekly Sunday Thrift Haul video. Today I'm going to share with you some things that I picked up for both myself and for resale at several different thrift stores here in the Raleigh area. Don't forget, watch through to the end of the video and make sure to leave a comment down below and let everyone know what your favorite find was from today's video and I will do the same. And also, as a reminder, if you see anything that you might be interested in purchasing directly from me that I haven't indicated I'll be keeping for myself, I would love it if you would shoot me an email at the email address in the description box. So, let's get to it. So, the first few things I'm going to show you I will be keeping for myself. Uh, they are two useful items and one just for decor because I collect these. Uh, the first thing, I, I want to pick these up at Habitat for Humanity. Uh, the first thing is kind of silly, but it's a useful item and I needed one. It's, it's a toilet paper holder for the wall. I have one already in my daughter's bathroom, but the one that I have is one that sits on the floor. So I thought this would just save some space and uh, it's in the kind of dark black that I go for in my decor. So I picked that up. Oh, that was two dollars so i thought that was a pretty good price the next thing that i am going to be keeping for myself is this beautiful purple bottle it says strom hullers elixir tree of life since 1880 on it you can see that side there and then on the back side it says nectar of the golden life of health and vitality Oops, there we go. Sorry about that glare. Uh, this was not Mark, but if I'm not mistaken, I think he only charged me $1 when I got up to the counter. Oh, and my habitat here, I don't know if they're doing it in your area or even if yours are open yet, but they are giving a 10% discount for those folks that wear a mask. And I was wearing my mask and he just said, I'm going to give you a 10% discount for wearing your mask. So I'm like, well, that's cool. <laughs> Um, this I have already put to use. It's a spreader that you uh, can spread grass seed with, or I think you can also do, I think it said you could do the ice melt crystals. Uh, what else can you do? Pesticides, herbicides. Uh, yep, so I picked this up. I have already used it. I put grass seed down in my front yard, hoping the geese will stay out of it and hoping that the grass will grow. And I paid $5 for that. I don't know what they go for retail, but I thought $5 was a pretty decent price for it. Um, this little girl I picked up at Cause for Paws. She's a beautiful little angel. And surprisingly, there is not a nick or a scratch or paint loss on her. She is in beautiful condition. And she was just 99 cents. That was the only thing I picked up there the day that I was at Cause for Paws. Put her so she doesn't get, oh, doesn't get broken. This is a useful item that I picked up for myself. Where did I, can't, I actually can't even recall where I got these. Uh, $2, yep, yeah, $2 for a four pack. Uh, this is the Walmart brand of the pitcher filters, but they fit the pitcher that I use. And I know I would not have paid $2 for them at Walmart. They would have been at least, at the very minimal, um, double that for $5 possibly. So that was a happy find. These I picked up. It is a box of vintage, uh, the little picks when you serve hors d'oeuvres and such. It's the whole box of them. It looks like they may have been in someone's antique booth at one point. Uh, it says small forks box two dollars they were asking two dollars for the box and the thrift store where i got them they were a dollar 99 and nope there's no marking or anything on it but i thought they were kind of fun so i got those this is the first one of these that i have found it is not vintage but it's a little what a pie bird so it says this cute little bird will let the steam out of your perfect baked pie so cute as can be, he was $1.99. And let me see if I can pop open this box real quick. He's so cute. Look at how adorable he is. 
So I, I don't bake pies. I'm not a baker. I'll cook on occasion, but I'm definitely not a baker. But I thought he was just adorable. So like I said, he's not he's not vintage. He's new. Oh, get in there. And comes in the box. Let's see. He uh, he is microwave and dishwasher safe, and he is made in China. And he I think is adorable. Picked up this super cute little tin. Isn't that sweet? The colors are so pretty on here. Real pastel pink and kind of a turquoisey green. So we have a little bunny that's riding on his uh, tricycle with the Easter uh, eggs there. And there's a lovely little basket on the other side. So we have two sides that are identical and then those two sides are identical. Uh, let's see, this was, that's just a little dirt on there. This was 99 cents. It's all metal. And there we are on the inside. I just thought it was super cute. It would be a, not only a cute little home decor piece for uh, the for Easter, but for springtime as well. Picked up this little angel. She is just a cutie too, I think. Now, I think underneath of her is is uh, like a thick cardboard and then this all appears to be some sort of burlap material and then perhaps some twine that was used to make her hair let's see she is made in taiwan republic of china and she was a dollar 99 just so so cute i think very kind of rustic -y looking christmas decor piece and I did pick up another apron. The other day I showed you two aprons that I picked up and I found this one at uh, North Raleigh Ministries thrift, thrift Shop. It's a sheer, oh, let me see, let me cut the tag. I hate when they put those tags in spots. Oh, there we go, where they could leave holes. So it did, yeah, dang it, darn, darn, darn. They did, it left a little, yeah, see that? I may actually talk to them next time I go up and tell them not to put these tags in places. So it did leave little teeny tiny holes, but here is the apron. It's a half apron, really kind of, kind of a sexy little apron, I think. Uh, is that, yep, has a little pocket right there and then a couple of little bows on it. And those holes, when you would have it on, you wouldn't notice those holes at all. But it does upset me that there are two little holes made in it, you know, because of the tag that they had placed on it. But I thought that was really sweet. Picked up a couple fabric pieces and I got these because I thought the fabric was so pretty. Let me see if I can really give you a feel for this and this is heavy too look at that isn't that beautiful i think it is so so pretty it has such a vintage uh, look to me and i actually picked up two pieces this one where is the tag because i know there were tags on here we go this piece right here is one yard and it is 55 inches wide it does have some stretch to it but it, that is a heavy piece of material. So we have that one. And then I have an identical piece. This one is a bit larger though and heavy. This piece is, uh, again, 56 inches wide and one and three quarter yards. I just fell in love with this print on this fabric. And let me see here to go down and pick up a bag. Oh my goodness. This I got for myself. The next things I'm gonna show you, I believe all came from Goodwill. So I had kind of been looking for a long denim skirt and I found one, finally. Now sadly, in our thrift stores here, at least the majority of them, I've only found one so far that will allow you to go and try on. Everyone else has their dressing rooms that are closed. So I am hoping that this is going to fit me. It's an old navy. I, I happen to like old navy clothes. 
So I'm hoping this fits. I haven't even tried it on yet. And I think that was around four, 450. Oh, here's the, here we go. I can tell you right now. No, actually that was 389. So that was better than I thought. Now this I got, I'm going to send into the real reel. I found two pieces that I'm going to send into the real reel. And if any of you are resellers, or even if you don't resell, but you have some high-end designer brands, and you can go to therealreal.com, and they have an alphabetical list of the brands that they accept. And uh, I did really well on there last month. So I picked up, this is from Kate Spade. That's one of the designers that they accept. It's, I guess it's like a chambray denim blue little sundress. It's so cute. I mean, it is just so adorable. And these little ties go around in the back. So I'll steam it so it looks really well, or it looks really good. And this is an extra small. So I picked that up for the real real. And then I picked up this pair of shoes. Uh, let's see, how much was that dress? The dress was, uh, let me see, actually, where is the, here we are. The dress was $4.89. And then I picked up this pair of shoes, which I'm not seeing here. Oh, here we are. These shoes were $3.69. And it's this pair of pumps, never worn. And I had not heard Sergio Rossi is the designer. I had not heard of them, but just because of the look of them while I was in Goodwill, I went ahead and went on Real Real's uh, website and they do take these. And now these were originally, it looks like $129. Again, not there's nowhere at all on them. So those will be going into the Real Real. And they came in a shoe box. This is not the proper shoe box for them though. I have just a couple more things to show you. At the same Goodwill, couldn't believe these were still there. I found a pair of Hunter boots. These are really, the shaft, I think they call that the shaft, is really, really tall on these boots. A little bit worn on the bottom, as you can see here. And on the inside right here, there's a little bit where it looks like whoever had had them scuffed together on their ankles. But other than that, they're in great condition. I took a chance on them because I know Hunter boots can sell for quite a bit on Poshmark. So I took a chance on these. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe to get 40 or 50 for them, but I haven't run comps. So that's a guess, actually. And then for myself, I just got these plain old black boots. Uh, let me see. I don't know if I told you how much I paid for them. Uh, both pairs, the Hunters that I just showed you, and these were both $4.99, so $5. But these I got to wear out in the yard when I am doing yard work. And I might just end up cutting them down and making them a little bit shorter um, because there are just rubber, and I know they are going to be so, so hot working out in the yard. But I had been looking for a pair of these boots, so I was really happy to have found them. Oh, the Hunter boots. Let me see. I didn't say what size. The Hunter boots are, I know it's in there. Where, let's see here. Where is the size here? U.S. looks like a seven, looks like a seven medium are the Hunter boots. So that's it. This ended up being quite a quick haul and I didn't realize I had so little to show you. But my favorite, my favorite thing, Okay, it's going to have to be this this uh, purple bottle because I do collect them and I really love the color of this bottle. So I will clean that up and put that with my other bottles. And uh, my collection is growing. Some of them are still down in Florida and I have to bring them back. But nonetheless, um, I do have a collection of them. So that was my favorite. Um, as I asked in the beginning of the video, I would love for you to leave a comment down below and let everybody know what your favorite find was from today's weekly Sunday thrift haul video. And if you liked this video and you do enjoy the thrift hauls that I have been sharing re recently, I would love it if you would give me a big old thumbs up and let me know that you're enjoying things. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching. Take very, very good care of yourselves. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.